going on guys it's Jay Rich back again today's video we're going to talk about PTOs how to use them what they even do and troubleshooting so before we really get into it do me a favor hit the like button share the video subscribe to my channel hit the bell or not hit the bell it don't matter hell you can get to me when you get to me it's fine just like it subscribe leave me a comment below I answer most every comment so what is a PTO a PTO on a big truck it makes your end up uh, your uh, low boy your walking floor trailer all kinds of stuff it, ma it makes all that stuff work and others you know tandem axles have have a PTO uh, garbage trucks have PTOs pumps have PTOs so and what it is is that there's a, a gearbox on the that hangs down on the side of the transmission then that goes to a pump then the pump circulates the hydraulic fluid from your tank to your trailer uh, and, and so on now there are two types there are hydraulic and there are electric on most of your big trucks they're going to be hydraulic um, on some of your smaller maybe a medium duty truck you might find the electric PTO not too much on the big trucks so all right let's go on ahead and I'm going to take you down to the tower here and show you exactly how to turn it on and everything like that so you get a good idea stay with me all right here is the tower it's a very simple design you have an on off switch you have an up and down this is for the tarp control to uh, lay over and cover the uh, load so first what you want to do you're backed into your spot wherever you're ready to dump you're going to put your foot on the clutch push this yellow down and what this yellow thing is is it's a block so that you can't flip that switch inadvertently you have to physically push that down flip your switch to on let your clutch out and for whatever reason my little red light ain't working <laughs> so this is the neutral position forward makes it go up back makes it go down Now you get the idea. Back to neutral, we'll stop. Then once you click towards the back to let it down, it'll automatically turn your PTO off for you. Now wise, it's gonna take a second for the bed to go down or what have you. But once it's down, uh, this is especially for end dumps. Now you're, uh, uh, your walking floors, your low boys, I don't think it really matters on those, but you want to flip that back to neutral on the end dump because your, your cylinder right here, this cylinder is full of fluid. Now, if you're constantly swapping trailers and you keep draining that fluid out by leaving the um, leaving your knob in the down position fluids gonna drain all out and into your tank down here you see my nasty old tank right there and eventually if you keep swapping trailers you're gonna overflow your tank so always flip it back to neutral and you'll be good so that's the basic PTO operation um, not every tower looks like this there's a there's several different kinds but the whole it's it's all the same it's it's really it's all the same you flip the switch to turn it on after you push the clutch in you let the clutch out and uh, while you're raising up 1100 rpms that's all you need you'll need to be way up here like this thousand rpms 1100 rpm something like that that's good 
that will help to keep you from burning your pump up. Now, let's say you don't know if the PTO is turning on or not. One thing that you can do, and I'm not going to do it, but you turn this on, flip your switch on, without pushing the clutch in. If you hear a grinding noise, then your PTO is trying to engage. So therefore you have a pump problem. If you, if you turn your PTO on by pushing your clutch in and you hear air leaking from under the truck, then the airline going to the PTO has been cut or something like that. Your PTO won't engage if it doesn't have the airline attached to it. So listen for an air leak if your PTO is not coming on. Now, you turn your PTO on, you push this forward, and nothing happens. It's not going up. But you've tried flipping the switch and turn it on, and it does grind. Okay? So flip your switch back on, put your foot on the clutch, let it out. Okay? And what you're going to have to do is pull this back, but keep your switch pushed forward. You're going to have to force it. Okay, so you're going to pull this back while holding, holding your switch forward. And if the bed starts going up, or it's working like it should, then you have a pump problem. And I had this happen recently where the transmission had to come out, out of the truck, and the guy, he crossed the airlines going to the pump not a big deal get under there unhook them hook them back in the, the correct way wasn't a big issue um, sometimes you'll get where um, oil hydraulic oil comes up through your tower and it'll usually come up through your switch uh, it may get it may come out here on your floor so look for that if you get that then you've got a cracked pump I've got to tell him he told me uh, there was hydraulic fluid leaking in, in the floor and he said no that's not possible you can't that can't happen well it can happen if the pump cracks I mean just saying guys one other thing to check is when your when your pump is coming on your PTO is coming on but nothing's happening check your connection of your main line uh, this is a single line system uh, some trucks use a dual line system, which w is a feed and a return. Uh, this does it all in one. It's just one line. But these uh, things, especially when you're swapping trailers and stuff, uh, that, that gets trash inside, and um, and they'll it'll feel like it's tight. But sometimes you just got to make sure and, and force it a little more. I have had some you had to tap them with a hammer uh tap the ears with a hammer to get them to tighten all the way down but before you do any of the other pump checks or whatever um check your connection first to make sure that you are screwed all the way in because inside here this this connection it has to push in the other connection to actually open up the little valve in there uh, for the fluid to to flow so check this first there you have it guys i appreciate you watching like i said like share subscribe hit the bell it's very much appreciated and it's not that hard to do so keep your knees in the breeze and the shiny side up we'll be seeing you